Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Hannah. I know. That is the worst oh smell. Oh, my God. Fart. That is the worst part I've, I've ever never, smelled. I, I've never smelled anything as bad. <laughs> Look. <laughs> you just think it's the <laughs> You just think it's the funniest thing ever, don't you? You just yeah, think it's like, the funniest thing ever. Like rotten eggs. It's horrendous, Jack. You got a little rat bag? <laughs> Wilson and Frenchie, my favourite. What is it? Wilson and Frenchie is my favourite baby brand. Are you kidding? Oh, oh you are going to be so cute. Oh, my God, that is sensational. <laughs> oh, look at you. Look at you. We are going to get some coffee. It is a miserable day in Melbourne today. Like it's really windy and it's cold. And so, uh, but nothing keeps me away from my morning coffee. Or Jack. I mean, you've got a puffy on, he doesn't. You have, I don't even need the puffy. You've put a puffy on yourself, but you haven't even put one on him. Like, what does that say? Hey. He always needs an extra layer than what you do. But he's, it's warmth, right? He gets warmth from my puffy. Oh, it's raining. Oh. We've got to put a hoodie on you. We're good to go, aren't we? Hey, you good to go, little one? Let's go get a coffee. It is absolutely Arctic monkeys out here at the moment. It's drizzling and uh it's just here's weather i was going to go for a ride today with sean but i it's, it's not happening it's not happening in this anyway so i'm probably going to get on zwift or something later all right so i had him on the chesty but mate it is so windy and cold out here i was like this child is going to get pneumonia so we've gone back and uh we've rugged him in about five blankets put him in the pram and uh so it should be good, should be good. And we're only walking about 300 metres around at the cafe. Nothing's going to stop us from getting coffee. Good to see you again. Alright, so Sean and I have these coffee dates pretty regularly actually and how it really starts is Sean sends me a text message saying let's go for a ride and I go, my exact response back is let's go for a coffee and talk about that. And I've learned, so I just came in kid so I can go riding straight afterwards. Yeah, so he, he knows me now, right? So he rocks up in kid, he, he's going riding after this, I'm just going to go straight home. But, the thing is, what it comes down to is I'm not really motivated to ride my bike or cycle or anything at the moment, especially with the weather like this. But um, what we're talking about is just also, is, and I thought I'd share this with you guys, is making videos. We're talking about making videos work and stuff and how I'm trying to strike that balance at the moment and how it's, I'm not doing it successfully. And I think what it comes down to is I'm not motivated to make videos about cycling. And I, all the time and, and I feel guilty putting a video on Cycling Maven and it not being about cycling and I think lots of people have said to me in the past and I've, I've touched on this in previous vlogs you know put any video up you like but I still feel guilty because it's supposed to be the Cycling Maven. Well put out the question do you, do you watch Cycling Maven for the cycling or are you watching it for Fergie? I mean I don't know. I hang out with you not for the cycling. I hang out with you for the Fergie factor. So, I don't know. It would be interesting to see what the viewers say though. You guys are pretty supportive. You've, uh, we've said this, we've talked about this in previous vlogs where most people were like, man, we just watch vlog. We'll just watch any vlog, right? But I still, I think that is the one reason. So if people to ask me why I'm not posting videos, it's the one reason why I'm struggling to at the moment because it's not, I don't want to post videos about cycling. I keep saying we should go and do some adventure rides and stuff, but 
or cyclocross? Yeah, well, definitely cyclocross. Yeah. Cyclocross is starting next week's the first race of the season. So, in fact, come along. It's in Caulfield County here by the Velodrome. So it's really bloody close. So it's just a sort of a smaller event, but come along and just check out the scene. Next week. Next weekend, Sunday. All right, I'm going home. I'm going to get changed. I'm going to come back and I'm going to go for a ride with Sean. Very reluctantly, because I, to be honest with you, I just cannot be... Yeah, you will once you're on the All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'll be back in 15 minutes. All right, Shawnee's uh, got me out on the bike. Uh, convinced me to get out here. I'm wearing the, uh, the Speedcraft 100% and an old Giro helmet. And uh, I'm back in the old Bianchi, I don't know, it's like a wetsuit material, um, but it's very warm. So you don't need to sort of layer up in this sort of weather. So uh, Sean was telling me about his, uh, his, his uh, re-uploaded Tinder. And so a lot of you know Sean's single. And uh, I'm living vicariously through his stories. But uh, how'd you go? Everyone knows you're single, mate. Private conversation kind of stuff. But it was good. It was good. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How, How are, are you, man? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Just last week you called me. The way you're talking is driving. All right, an hour and a half of riding in the bank. I'm just getting home now feel absolutely amazing and I always feel good when I drag my lazy ass out on the bike man so all you have to do is pull your bloody socks on all you have to do is pull your socks on and get out there and you know that you'll come home happy you know it's a lesson for me it's a lesson for you lazy old bastards my little humans have come to open the door for me hello we thought we heard daddy's bike didn't we He's Is he just, in a good mood? He's just woken up Has and he? he woke up smiling. Alright, so I'm back from my ride with Shawnee. I've uh, shaved my head and my face, so I almost look like Jack now. Probably not quite as young, I wish. But um, what's going on with this camera, man? What's going on with this camera? It's doing all sorts of crazy shit. It's blowing out the highlights. It's cracking me this thing. It's Canon G7X, good camera, good little camera for on the bike, but pretty much not much good for anything else. So Hannah and I are going to a friend's place at the moment. They're uh, they're, they're having a baby themselves. Have they had the baby yet? No, they're having, a... they're having a baby. We're having a little social outing, which uh, to be honest with you, we don't do social outings very often, do we? No. Like where we go to someone's house and have drinks, but. Um, it's a way more of a mission to go to someone's house or go out when you've got a baby because you've got to get the pram, you've got to get the baby, you've got to get all the food for the baby, you've got to get nappies and, and esky and it's like a massive mission. So uh, we're going to go catch up with these guys and maybe spend an hour or two, have a couple of beers and just get out and about and interact with other human beings. Absolute mission and I've just had an afternoon nap so I'm tired, I'm grumpy. I feel like a zero out of ten after my ride, like a zero out of ten. I feel as I did 700 kilometer ride just then. I did 40 k's. Oh no, I look like a friggin... I look like a ghost at the moment. But Hannah just told me that my uh, hat had little sweat marks where you, where you wear the hat. So she reckons I need to wash the hat. So she said I can't wear the hat to this thing. So she's going to get me a maven cap. And I need a cap because when you shave your head for the first time, you look where you got... You look like a friggin' cancer patient. Yeah, other thing that's really dirty. Is that better? Yeah. It's the it's tires dirty. on the car. Wood, stone and wood. Hannah's gone inside to get a uh, into the shop to get a six pack of beer so that we can have a couple of beers at this event. After training this afternoon, eating healthy and having an afternoon nap, the last thing I feel like is beer. I see I feel like it's beer, but sometimes I think you've just got to do it to be social. So.
I nearly crashed then. Yeah, yeah. You alright? Oh. Yeah, that was pretty close. I was going over these bumps. Yeah, yeah.